The following video you are about to watch contains adult language. Probably didn't need to say that, but I, I will, because just in case someone is bothered by that. Tacos. Hey, Shannon, you remember when you were going to open this intro with something legitimate? Me too. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, it wasn't legitimate. I was going to break out into live a lead light. Oh, live a lead line. Kept telling myself I was going to fuck it up by saying, like, love or let die. Because the song is live or let die, you know. Because that was why I kept telling myself I was going to fuck it up as. Didn't realize I was going to fuck up actually the word love by saying live the entire time I... I am the worst of all of the people. Um, hey, hi, ho, and howdy, everybody. I have the most splendiferous of images currently uh, stuck on my screen. Thank you, um, dear show creators, for opening up the end episode with just Yuzu just, just uh, uh, in a way. Um, screenshot that shit and save it in the special folder. I mean... What? This is a show about lesbians. This isn't time for my perverted bullshit, or is it? Perhaps is there no better time than now? Probably, actually. I mean... I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I am not want to croach on nobody's relation. I'm not here to... I'm just saying, if I can, if I can find people in a heterosexual relationship attractive... I can totally find someone who isn't in that attractive, and that shouldn't be weird. I mean, it's sad because there will never be love for me. Also, they're fictional. Hey, hi, ho, and howdy, everybody. My name is Shannon Shook, and I'm glad it took us two and a half minutes to get to an actual intro. Um, hi, my name's Shannon. Nice to meet you, unless you're here from the dig over and over again, in which, dear God, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. We're here for something else, uh, and that would be, that something would be, nailed it, um, would be Citrus Episode 7, Love or Lie, or, if you believe that song from earlier, Live or Let Lie, which is definitely the case, except for the fact that it isn't. Um, what happened in the last episode of Citrus? I vaguely remember some stuff happened, I think, yeah, no, it was all, it was all, um, May's dad came into town, right? And he came in, he was all like, what up? And she was like, nothing, bitch. And he was like, oh, you're still a little salty. I get you. I understand where you're coming from here. I'm, I'm, I forgive my face. Um, right, I'm not crazy, right? That was the, was the episode with Doc Chocolate. Um, better be, otherwise I'm going to be extremely confused. That is the big problem about doing now five shows a week, is I'm like, I'm gonna fuck something up here. I just, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, no, hey, look, it's Hero and fucking Citrus. It's what now? Bitch, this is a show about women's. There ain't no manses in here, except for the fact that we literally just got done talking about May's dad. Um, anyway, yeah, so, uh, her dad came into town, uh, hung out a little bit, eventually reconciled in the end with the assistance of the zucchini herself. She rolling up in here like, boy, and or lady person, I got me a bike. Uh, I can ride it with no handlebars. Except for there were handlebars, so that doesn't work at all. Also, that song is gets intense by the end of it. Does, is that is that is that too old a reference for people? Because I swear that came out like three years ago, but I'm pretty sure it was probably closer to like 45. Um. Anyway, that all happened, and the episode also ended with the most, mm, a most non horrific um uh, is, uh of pressing of the faces. So far on the show, which is rad. I can get behind that. I'm always so scared because I'm always like, ah, someone's bordering on rape. And now where it's like, hey, I can get behind what's happening here. Um, because that's not morally questionable on every level. Um, so yeah, no, that was nice. That was cool. Also, we got introduced just a little itty bitty teeny tiny bit to, uh, it was, was her name Matsuri, I think. We're gonna find out. Um, I think that was what it was. It was really funny too, uh, because I was just talking uh, in a comment uh, to someone else on a different show who was all like, "Hey, I realize you talk a lot, so you probably miss stuff all the time, and I think that's kind of dumb. And you're just gonna ruin your enjoyment of the show. You're just gonna keep missing everything." 
And I was like, no, nah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry if it's not going to be for you or whatever. But it's it's all good in the end. Um, I don't miss that much anyway. I, it occurs to me that I completely, totally, and 100% missed the fact that they said Mitsuri's name. or who, Headphones Girl is who I'm talking about. Again, probably fucking her name up. Um, completely missed that they said her name in the last episode at all. They said it like two or three times. And I was like, wait, who? Because um, your boy's dumb. Um, but that's okay, because, I mean, you love me this way, right? Maybe? No? Um, probably not. Anyway, we're gonna check out the episode here. It's episode seven, Love or Lie, with an exclamation point, because we're here for realsies. Um, also, again, this is still just on my screen. Girl, what are you doing here? Also, you got lovely shoulders. You got lovely shoulders, girl. I now feel very uncomfortable, and now it's me ruining it. See, at the beginning of the show, it was you and May getting all weird and making me feel uncomfortable. Now I'm just going to make everyone else feel uncomfortable. It's, I'm getting too I'm getting too calm. That's the problem, is I'm getting too used to doing this shit. So I'm like, oh, let's say some fuck shit. Because why not? Um, I also do have a question at the very... I will ask after so that you guys don't have to wait longer. Again, this is a seven-minute intro already. God damn it, what's wrong with me? Um... But there's a question I do want to ask um, you audience members at the end of the show. So I would really appreciate it if you um, uh, check that out. Uh, and if you don't, um, well, how dare you? Also, uh, you're totally okay to do that. Um, anyway, we're going to get started here in three, two, one. Get it, girl. Oh, hello. You got lime eyes. He's. You guys went and put your faces together. Y'all don't need to fuck each other yet. We're not there yet. You love dark chocolate as much as I do? Oh, I see how it do. I'm right there, Yuzu, with, with you every time. It's that's That's just a Tuesday for me. Who else is involved? I don't know. Because I don't involve people in my life anymore so it's i like to think it's some ethereal ghost woman who's always crawling at me with no shirt on well she had a shirt and it was like it was just limited in her clothes perhaps i've gone too far into this joke that's stupid dark chocolate my boy um now was that there the whole time did that change did i finally notice something that changed unless it unless it didn't ass um also, I gotta say it, Yuzu, again, once again, I'm totally, I'm all about the clothes in this show. You know it, you know me. It's just like, mmm. Anime girls, you're adorable, but you're just that much better if you're in the right outfit. Um, your, your star earrings weren't doing it for me, girl. I'm sorry, I just, I, it was just throwing me off. I wasn't a fan. I'd... <sighs> I'm glad we could add this scintillating... Hey there, headphones girl. You know, I don't trust her, by the way, at all. <laughs> uh, between the teeny bit that we got there and um, and uh, people in the comments being just like, mm, yeah, no, she's a person. <laughs> I, I get I get the impression I'm a I'm a love her. Who knows? Maybe she, maybe she'll be great. From what I heard, um, whatever it is that she does in the anime, uh, she's a bit more expanded upon in the manga and less dislikable. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll love her here. Maybe it's... Who knows? Dude, I understand these feels, except for not at all, because I never had an attractive stepsister of my age to... I'm going to drop it again. We're just going to forget I was talking. You know, that fucked me up. I mean, I, I would go as far as to say she probably was. She was just probably trying to maintain a level of normalcy. Because um, the, the impression I would get would be, yeah, no, it would be that you guys obviously like each other a bit. Um, 
but that can definitely f- put a fucking monkey wrench in the whole in the whole works if you're not careful. So. It's a good point. It would be probably a good idea to actually figure that out. Mm. I mean, you could. There would be questions raised, at least in regards to the sisters thing. I know that not everybody was or is cool with the other thing, but I'm just saying, like... Oh. <laughs> No credits. You're fucked. Careful. That's an expensive-ass piece of machinery you're fucking with. Hello? Oh, shit, that was her, wasn't it? Unless there was other... I don't know. You gotta respect how, um... How a homegirl over here is always... Being a pretty helpful uh, bestie friend. Bestie friend of the resty. Oh, she, she's about to get her fucking John Wick on. What's she listening to, though? That's the real question. That is an anime girl, my dear. Yeah, Matsuri, there we go. See, I was right. I'm not fucking completely stupid. Again, I I was really expecting her to have a deeper voice. I don't know why. I just, I imagine, um, what would be something to compare it to? Uh, if any of you ever seen, uh, I don't know if it's a good example because I was going to use the English dub of the, what, um, I was going to use uh, Kokoro Connect as a uh, comparison, an Inaba's voice actress. that More that kind of thing. And again, that's English dub. I don't know Japanese. Um, that was what I expected. I was not expecting her voice to be on the goddamn moon. Um, I mean, you, you, you made it look like you came to play a game and not do that. Wait, you're in middle school? Um, excuse me? Pardon? Um. See, the thing is, I don't know if I can trust a single word out your mouth. But, uh, I feel like that's, that'd be bordering on the, on the, on the lines of, Chris Hansen showing up in this bitch like, hey, why don't you why don't you take a seat? I'll I got some ice cream thing for you over here. I like homegirl scarf. <laughs> Sorry. All right, grab hands, calm down. Hey, now. Again, I'd, I'd go so far to wagers. 
that it happened all over the place, a girl's school or not. I mean, like again, I I know not everyone's still hip with it, but I mean, it is. It's like it was twenty whatever is it? Even in the shadows, that shit exists. To tell me it don't. Yeah, I feel like it's probably best you don't leave Yuzu with her. I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. Or perhaps it even gets worse. Tests suck ass. Just like throw that out there. Is that something that should make you smile? Get a grin? Ah. Uh... Come on, May. Just maybe you'd crack a smile. You see what I did there? I'm amazing. Thank you very much. Also, I apologize profusely. Hey there, May. How you doing? God damn it, you know that ain't my name. I'm sweet and tender and maybe a little bit bitter. Mm-hmm, dark chocolate in the house. I don't know why that's as funny to me as it is, because it's probably just annoying to everyone else. These are way better, better. These are way better earrings, by the way. I approve of these. Hmm? Um. All, all right then. Homegirl's on a mission. She, uh, she, she's got, you know, stuff to do. I don't. All right. I mean, there's a possibility. If if these past six episodes have taught me anything, it's a possibility. I was about to say, I knew where this was going. I will say this, I like the color of her eyes. I don't know about this questionable behavior, but... I realize I'm being very quiet again, it's just I'm... I don't know what to say. I think I could sum it up quickly with... I don't know how I, I, don't feel, how I feel about all this. All that uncomfortableness again. Sitting here shaking my head the whole time. Um, fucking cock blocked by a phone. Nailed it.
something with lemons. Please, God, this is the double hit channel. It's got to be something with lemons. It better have lemons in it, mate. God damn it. You got to Yeah. I mean, you got to respect that, you know, she's cool enough with you, or at least enough to show it that she's like, hey, what you want to give for foods and stuff? Like, I mean, that's a positive, probably. I'd describe it as such. I mean, maybe that's just me, though. They have tambourines? Majestic. talk about how the street sign just immediately like ate 76 sandwiches when it slowed down hey i know her and then he got small again my man went on weight watchers within the last seven seconds you need to stop this You fiend. Come on, May, don't buy it. Come on now. This is it. You've seen it a million times before. In your animes, your nanim your not not animes, your 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 all forms of fictional media. I think she's counting on that. She like blindsided her too, so she couldn't even explain. Don't approve. It's all right, May. Don't worry about it. She's just being sneaky as fuck. Don't do the zucchini like that. Is that good? That's great, right? Unless it's not. I was, I was about to say something terrible. Ooh, that sounds delicious. That's kind of adorable, if a little depressing. Also, homegirl's hair is ridiculous, but I kind of love it. Mmm. Holy shit, she disappeared like the Batman. Usually watch how she sneak up behind you like this was some out of Game of Thrones. Only. Okay. I don't. It's true. You act like me when I'm doing the dishes. I just break everything. Not on purpose. It just happens. I'm stop. You don't you judge me. Your red ass knees. Oh, she did all of the weird things. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, ridiculous hair, but I kind of love it. I mean, 
Yes. Mm hmm. Too good for your own good. Uh oh. What is this? Oh shit, this is this. Bitch, you rolling up in here like a goddamn supervillain with your hands behind your back, like, mm -hmm, yes, I've returned. Just fuck all the shit up. Dude, y'all need to start be selling popcorn for all these people watching. Oh shit, you lay down the law, May. Damn right. You throw the fuck down. I don't like his music, though, because it makes it sound intense, and now I'm feared. Uh, the fuck away is an option. We'll say this is when Homegirl wants to be, um, I realize there's so many female characters in here. Me calling everyone Homegirl is not helpful in the slightest. Um, my apologies. But, you know, when, when May does manage to keep herself under control, she can be, she, can get, she get the stern shit down. She's like, yeah, I will lay down this law like the mighty hammer of four and I'll just, I'll get it done. Get your ass off my school property, son. Hey now, that's vandalism, good sir, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. That's frowned upon. What the fuck are you doing now? Don't you dare. I was expecting her to be all like, oh, yeah, no, it was so-and-so. Lord knows she's planning some other shit for sure. How are you getting all this goddamn bubblegum around? But why though? <laughs> but but why though? Why why you gotta start all this shit? I'm gonna ruin your yuzu. How is that gonna ruin her? Don't you don't you don't you do this? You just you you put you push in the buttons, Matsuri. Fucking headphones, lass. You fiend. Uh, chair, if you don't stop squeaking, I'm gonna just set you on fire. Um. Oh, that's right, May. You rub them paws. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Wait, hey, Mama. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say nothing questionable about your new daughter. I didn't mean to do stuff like this. I like that heart pillow. It's got that nice. Holy shit, that looks like Hasao's uh, sweater vest, actually. It's the exact same pattern. I'm expecting my boy to roll up in here and have a heart attack on us. Anyway, point is, that, okay, um, I'm just throw this out here. If the dark chocolate voice gets an too annoying, please tell me here in this episode so that I don't keep doing it all the time and just irritating the ever-living shit out of people. Because, <laughs> uh, even me, it's not like, do I like doing it? Yes, I do, but I, I could see it pissing people off. Anyway, point is, that was episode seven. 
Love or let lie. I'm sorry. Love or lie is the actual. What do we got here? Hey now. Dude, if this doesn't end with her getting the shit slapped out of her, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna just personally say, missed opportunity, dear creators of this show. If I don't get just one strong ass backhand out of this motherfucker, then um, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Not gonna lie, it's, it's like a ten out of ten show except for that. I just say I'm gonna need a little bit more. Come on now. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So that was episode seven. Uh, and I, I enjoyed it. It was it was good. Uh, Matsuri is definitely um, a thing, a person, a place. She is a noun. This is this is accurate. I believe a motherfuck. Uh, she's a uh, what is that? A proper noun. I'm not proud of how long it took me to remember what the terminology was. I I dropped out of high school. Anyway, point is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that was episode seven, and I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, uh, you know, she's definitely being a thing, and it is, it is, it is, it is, it is a thing, <laughs> for sure, um, yeah, I mean, if you could not, things were kind of going well, and you gotta roll up in here and be like, oh, I got my squeaky ass voice, and I'm up here and fucking shit up, and that's not helpful, why are you gonna do this? People were like nice having fun doing karaoke and studying for the exams and making curry soup, which kind of sounds tasty. Curry is really interesting because every time I have it, I'm like, mmm, it's never as good as I expect it's gonna be. And it's just, it makes me sad. I don't know. Maybe I'm just always ending up in the wrong curry joints. Who knows? And by that, I mean there's no curry joints where I live. I'm in the middle of Montana. Ain't nobody make fucking curry out here. Anyway, um... Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, you know, I, I enjoyed the episode. It's uh, interesting to get a little bit uh, more development with the whole gang. Uh, it is sad to see Mei and Yuzu regressing a little bit. No thanks to um, the bubble... Is it bad that I want to call her the bubblegum bitch? I know we already we already got we already got Mitsuri as a name, and of course uh, I'm a fool, so headphones girl is a thing. Um, but I like the alliteration of bubblegum bitch. Also, I feel like that could be most easily turned into a song at some point. So I mean, just I like it. Um, so you know, I'm very interested to see where this is going to end up going. Presumably, it'll get all resolved in the end, but. I'm curious as to exactly what her beef is. Her 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 her, 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 her whole deal. Because again, the way she said it off there at the end was like, "No, someone like that's gonna change my precious little zucchini." Um, and that, like, I get it. I I get worrying that you're gonna lose something that you think you have or whatever. Though it seemed like the way they introduced her and the way it showed off, it sounded like that those two haven't seen each other in years. Who knows, they could have seen each other five and a half minutes ago. It's just it felt, I assumed it would have been a longer period of time. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I want to I wanna know more. I want to know if by the end of this I'm going to have a reason to continue wanting to slap the shit out of her. I'm going to be like, hey, wag my finger at you I won't, I won't I won't go that far I'll just be like you give you a stern talking to young missy kind of like drills girl like by the end of the thing we got her all figured out and she was all like oh salty for a minute and then it kind of all worked out and now we're friends um but I don't know we'll see anyway um thank you folks friends felines do I have neko Audience members, dude, that'd be amazing. If you got it, flaunt it. You you, you work with what you're given. And like, I'm not... What the hell am I talking about? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, don't ever be afraid to hit the like button, comment button, subscribe button, and share buttons. They all do fantabulous little things for me here on the channel, and I really do appreciate it. Um, 
uh, what was the, oh yeah, no, I had a question that I wanted to run by you guys, and this is, it's not an important thing by any means, but, um, obviously in the last episode I was very, I'm um, talkative about how, uh, I, I thought the concurrent viewership thing, like everybody, uh, returning each and every week to see the videos, uh, for Citrus was really cool and something I really enjoyed, so, um, uh, kind of bridging off of that and the release of, uh, Suka Suka and Rea Zero, uh, Oh, you know, by the way, uh, if you don't know, schedule has officially been filled out. We have Citrus on Monday, uh, Darling the Franks on Tuesday, uh, Place for the Universe on Wednesday, Suka Suka on a, each and every Thursday, and we have um, ReZero taking the Friday spot. Um, so keep that in mind for those of you who care. Um, and on the topic of those of you who care, um, I was curious just if anyone in the comment section wanted to throw out, um, if you happen to be someone who checks out multiple uh, of the series that I do each and every week. Like, oh hey, you yeah, know, I, I watch Citrus, but I also hop in and check out A uh, Place for in the Universe each week, or something like that. I don't know, I'm just, I'm curious to see, because that's something I can't really get told by the analytics. Um, but I, 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 w I would be interested to see how much crossover there is between each of the different shows. Um, because with the introduction of Sukusuk and ReZero, both of those shows have a little bit of crossover with things like Darling and the Franks uh, and such. So, um, you know, I, it, was, it was interesting to see those little things. and I'm, I'm curious to see more of that. So uh, if you happen to be one of those people, by all means, throw that down in the comments below. I'd, I'd like to know. I'd like to, I'd like to learn this information so that I can plot... It schemes like Matsuri here, and I'll like turn it against it, use it as a weapon. I get my advertiser on, my like corporate shill thing. I'll be like, mm hmm. I'll succumb to the dark side. I'll get all EA on this shit. I don't even know what that means, but probably something horrible. Those two letters together, it just, you just want to, ah. Stick a shotgun in my mouth. Um. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys <laughs> in the um, next video. Uh, whatever that happens to be. Whatever you happen to check out. Um, uh, in this case, uh, for Citrus would be episode 8, obviously, because that's how numbers work. Anyway, uh, toodles, doodles, and Citrus. Ha-ba-bye. And stuff. Stuff.